at the sight of a gargantuan silhouette rising above the mist that blankets the land. The moment he realized that it is actually moving, a staggering fear fills your mind. No living thing this size could possibly exist. Uh, make your way past the creature at a safe distance. Turning back does not seem like a good idea, so you decide to circumnavigate the colossal entity. Unfortunately, this new path takes you into much rougher terrain, and you lose a considerable amount of time. Great. I love that. I love that for me. Uh, I have come across the Mad Fanatics of the Cult. Great! I love that for me! Boy, what is that? Cultist feels ardent due to the presence of other cultists. I don't like that. What do the cultists do, exactly? Oh! Oh, Outsiders on Fire. Oh, Outsiders on Fire! Oh no, Outsiders on Fire. I don't love that. Okay, you're dead. I wonder if this will get me robes. Will this maybe get me robes? It would be great if this got me robes. Stab. Stab. Okay, he has a lot of health. Uh. Great. Stop. No! That is the worst time for schizophrenia! Bad, bad time for schizophrenia! Okay, you're dead. Can I maybe... Ooh, how much AP does it take? Five? I have... Not enough. Oh, I do though! I have enough. I love that. Okay. Stop it with the schizophrenia. God, can you get your shit together, like, real quick? I would love that. Okay, wait. This guy gets more dangerous the more damage I do. I just remembered that. Okay, please hit soldier. Or, or that. That works too. What does that mean? Oh. It's a good thing he's a party member that I don't particularly care about. I wonder if that's forever. Oh, that sucks for him. That sucks a lot for him. Okay, so I got tatters. More tatters. Can I make a robes? Can I make a robes? I wonder, okay, if we go to like a workbench or something. Um, if I go like over to this, can I just like make a thing? Inventory. Uh... Where do those go? Crafting treats. Textile. Uh... No. It doesn't seem... It doesn't seem like I can. Uh, okay, so there is a thing. Somewhere. We need to get in here, basically. Um, but we do also need to go back over here and actually grab the items that were there and read the, uh, read the book. Because that is a hint and it also, like, progresses stuff that's going on. Um, so... I really wish there was a way to just, like, run. To, like, do a sprint. That would be fantastic. These games are oftentimes very, very slow moving. Okay, we just need to grab all of that. And then we need to fucking leave. Because I don't want to hang out in there, because we will probably die. Um, okay. Oh! That... 
Yep, that sure did activate a new thing, didn't it? You notice the Baroness's loyal servant whose robust self approaches you with graceful but determined steps. Please accept my most sincere apologies for interrupting you in such an untimely fashion, but I have brought a new message from her ladyship. He stoops forward to extend an envelope resting on an elegant velvet cushion. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so we're gonna read that. We're also we're also oh god damn it, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. We're also gonna give that a read. Um, because that's probably important. Because that lets us know that there's a, a, a patent that we need to find. Okay, so we need to go... Fuck. I don't have... I don't have camping supplies. Uh... Okay, we need to go to... The Old Eel. Or, if we can't do that, we need to... Um... Buy camping supplies. I really hope I haven't bought out the town's stock of camping supplies. Wait, what? This guy... this guy's new. Just as no knight in Arkham is ever adorned by the moon to the warm... What? Encompassing arms of the sun, no castaway of this ruined asylum is ever likewise to be exempt from being frequented by one of its creepy patients. What? The scruffy man with swollen eye bags reeks of kerosene for some reason. Excuse me, would you spare me some matches? Why would you need that? I was a plague sent to punish an angel and a smelly shit to debob the face of mankind. Therefore, I, the magnet of this earth, must be washed from its face. Are you sure you're alright? Benevolence is a fire that should not be fed often, for it must burn steadily. If you galvanize the flames, it'll soon become cinders. Oh great, another philosopher. Do you know what hell sounds like? The tortured screams of your beloved greet you as you enter its black gates. And you can't do a damn thing. They'll call for help, beg for a sweet touch, but you can do nothing. Uh, hell happens to them because of you, you ignorant, selfish piece of shit. Uh... Just calm a little and tell me what's the problem. Since death took her, what's left of my fragile sanity has been dripping away like water does from the tap from a sink. With her every whimpering breath, I am losing the word to protect my puny humaneness front by front. I can empathize. We all taste lost on this dismal plane. I just want a damn match. Do you have it or not? Here, you can have my cigars in return. Hawaiian imports. Here, then take it. Uh, is he, is he gonna... Yep. He sure is. That sure is the thing that he's gonna do. Great. That's horrifying. I didn't lose sanity for that though, which is interesting. I just watched a man uh, burn himself alive and I didn't lose sanity. <laughs> uh, let's read that. But a single living creature would ever wish to hear that sentence. She didn't make it, I'm sorry. The awful power of those words seemed more than what flesh and blood was made to withstand. Upon the news that my mother's sickness had become terminal, madness began its inexorable oration. In my feeble attempt to bring salvation to the unflagging misery of this world, I fed my vanity with my sorrow, and thus came to find myself sitting in the lap of evil. How mortifyingly ironic that by allying myself with Waxface, I became his lawyer and the embodiment of everything I detested. I was convinced that if I could use the money, tainted though it was, for good and justice it would not matter. But would an agent of good murder someone as I murdered the lady at the customs? Yes, it was me who killed her. As with every failure that entails punishment in the law of the lawless, I duly received my share as well. I flinched. Just was, I just wasn't as good a liar as I thought I was. Wax face, slitting open the lady's throat slowly in front of me, held my hands and pressed them against the crimson maw that appeared on her neck, <coughs> saying, Her blood is really on your hands now. Cool. <coughs> that was a whole load of insane shit that just happened. We're kind of used to that at this point. I guess that's why our sanity didn't go down. Uh, we will do a read, because we might as well. Uh, just, sure. And scout. Well, then you can keep watch. We're probably, yep, gonna get into, oh no, this is, this is dream thing happening. Uh, hello. As you open your mind's eye to the ever-changing skies of the dream void once again, you find the blinding presence of a, famili of a familiar figure right above you. The dreaming baroness, graceful voyager of the dreamlands. She communicates with you through a soundless melody that resonates within your psyche. Once again, these two souls meet beyond the mystifying wall of sleep. I am grateful that you have come to visit me in this long-lost deep. Vividly, I still do remember the things that you have done for me. As a, pers as a personage who pays for her deeds, this time the baroness will set you free. 
I know you strive to break away from the clutches of a prophecy, and this blinding desire forces you to find a book of infernal atrocity. Through a street of peril you will walk, poisoned and maimed by a peregrinous rock. The dreaming may indeed help you survive if you listen to me before diving into the beehive. Uh, in the timeless language of dreams, once again you will learn how to walk, halfway through the tangible, halfway through the dreaming fog. Thus the ashes of damnation won't touch you in the journey, and you can reach the false salvation waiting at the end of this ulcerous journey. Uh, well, what do you mean? The dreaming baroness suddenly halts the silent melody and starts transmitting strange ideas, imagery, and thoughts deep into your mind. All these seem too much to comprehend at the moment. When that subconscious dance of notions is finally over, you feel like something has been transplanted into your mind. These are new ideas in my mind! Eureka! Beware! The blanket of forgetfulness will be strong. You will have to write down the notes of this song. If you want to do this delicate walk of reverie, you will have to find the tears of a memory. You are being drawn into the surface of your conscious mind now, and her song is ceasing to make sense. The last understandable words that you could disting distinguish were the Arkham Theater. Okay, so that's the place that we now have to get into. Um, which means... Wait, why am I here? Why? Up, right upon waking from the dream, you start to take detailed notes of your incident with the Baroness. Although you understood nothing about it, you just may have a spell manuscript at hand. M manuscript, Nightwalk. Uh. Okay. Interesting. Th I don't know what that does. I can't research it. Hold on. Let's. Uh, okay. So I have kind of looked at how we get the robes. Um, all of them seem to be at Pilgrim's Parish. I don't know why I left that store. I wanted to buy camping supplies. Um, all, yeah, all of them seem to be at Pilgrim's Parish. Um, so I guess we should probably head back there after I buy some necessary supplies. Because that seems to be the end. Um, that's, that's like... Straight up, the last bit of the game. Why don't you have camping supplies, you absolute bastard? Oh, there we go. <coughs> okay. So let's sell some stuff that we're not going to be using. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know what ammunition Eduardo uses. And I would very much like to know that before we go into this. What? Wait, is Eduardo not his name? Oh, fuck. Have I been calling him by the wrong name this whole time? Uh... Wait. Sonia Green Carter. I can have her join... I can have a dog? I didn't know I could have a dog. Fuck. I regret everything. Where the fuck would I get lead shot? This is going to bother me now. Also, we should uh, stock up on medicine type stuff. That's going to be probably fairly important. Get rid of this cigar. Okay. We should go see if Isidore will sell us. He doesn't trade in cigs. Because I fucked up that bit of dialogue so I don't have speechcraft. <sighs> uh, let's go have a word with Krog real quick. He might He might be an interesting person to talk to right now. Uh, what is that? Oh, I can. Oh yeah, I can sell him all the all the viscera that we have. That's good. Bye. I think we have to come back and talk to him later, because he has uh, 
Uh, yeah, I need to get a mark of cleansing after we after we try to get into the theater once we have the robes. So then we go and talk to Krog and and get that. Apparently, there's specific different kinds of ones that have different benefits and and drawbacks. So that's interesting. Um, I am just like whole cloth kind of cheating now. Because I don't have the energy or or the wherewithal to figure out what the game actually wants me to do. And I think, as we have kind of shown over the last few episodes, I'm not great at these sorts of games. Um, I, I mean, I got through Shadowrun pretty decently. I got, I got endings stuff and did did side quest lines the way that I would have wanted to, but figuring out what to do for like the main main quest stuff is always something that comes as a challenge to me. Uh no, I don't want to approach the cemetery, thank you. Because the thing I think all the cemetery will do for me is a loss of sanity. We did that once. Where we it was on the way to the Dead Willows or whatever. We happened upon a cemetery and then we went into a uh, uh, a mausoleum of sorts. Let's go talk to this cult guy. The hooded man standing at the entrance seems like some kind of a crier for the cult, who is fanatically promoting whatever mind-abusing experience that is being that is being in display behind the closed doors. Uh, come, my brethren. I sense that some among you are worthy of the revelation inside the theater of bones, the only true miracle of the century of lies. Come closer, brethren. I can see that, that the fruit of renunciation is ripe in some of you. Beyond those doors, you'll submit your hearts and purge your souls. Beyond these doors, you will witness the, perfe the perfection that is our beautiful doom. Step inside and purge the last fragments of your former self in the unearthly glow of cellulose. Uh, I need to get inside. Uh. Okay, so we need... Wait. What did we just get? What item did we just gain? Crafting idea, cultist robes. Ah! That's good. Because we have a bunch of uh, tattered cultist robes that will probably be perfect for that. Formulas? Wait, how do I... Is that an item? Uh, wait. Oh! I need to use these. I am incredibly stupid. Because I have a fucking shitload of these. Oh my god. Are you serious? It was that fucking easy? I thought there was something I was missing because I wasn't able to, like, study them. God damn it. What's the hunter's belt? I don't know what that is. Let's make the cultist robes. Textile. Uh, sure. Why doesn't that work? Uh, why doesn't that work? Why aren't I allowed to do that? Do I need a sp do you need specific skills to do that? Hold on. Some robes are using random textiles. I feel like that's something we probably could have found in the garbage and, sh and stuff over here. Hey, how about let's go look at the pile. I will probably regret that, but, uh... Oh wait, apparently there's some being, like, just laying on the ground. Oh. Just go grab that. Are there gonna be any... repercussions for that? I've been told that Adam witnessed the miracle. Such privilege, where? At the roof of the hotel where the infidels live. Infidels! They are not worthy! The roof of the hotel. 
That's interesting information to get. Um, can I take these? Hey, real quick. Ow! What for? 